what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, industry players? We in the building again. <laughs> yeah, and you guys know it's written with little money here. And I'm sitting down with my amazing co-host. Yeah, new blood, MJ Givens Khasi. I'm here and I'm here <coughs> to stay. Wonderful show. But I'm it's, excited. No longer, it's no longer new blood now. By, by, oh, by, 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 by now, now, it's I not think. new blood. People expect you every mm. week. Oh, by the way. Yeah, people are okay. now by now. Because I guess now we've shot like a gang episodes ahead of time. Yeah, sure. So like now people expect MJ to clock in at work. <laughs> yeah, now I have nine to five. <laughs> Please, when you see me stuck on traffic, just know I, I submitted my CV somewhere. Yeah, but yeah, man, good to be here. Yeah, Exciting yeah. guest today. Yeah, very exciting, very exciting. I'm excited. She, ah, she's a regular, this one. Oh, I'm part of the family. She's part of the family. Oh. Yeah, no, I think maybe we should have a new... Um, Nine to five. Yeah. <laughs> and you on our roster there. <laughs> Uh, coming in once a month, yeah, yeah no, no. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we got Kyra Peters in the building. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, pull, pull the mic closer to you, the people really want to hear you. Scott this time, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be louder. This time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, yeah, no, cool. Yeah, anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm good, I'm good. Like yeah. I said, it's winter. Mm hmm. And I'm sure you're feeling it as well, the effects of winter. Hate it. Is it winter? Ah, is it, it's, it's not even winter, winter here. My, my, hey, we live in South Africa. We only have two seasons. Summer, winter. <laughs> Anything else that you guys say, I, I we do not recognize as a country. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, you sound like a trader. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is stop loss and take profit. Money management things, I don't want to know about them. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. autumn. It's actually autumn. Is it? Yeah, oh, we're getting okay. into winter. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's cool. So, you're from Pretoria, so it's always summer in Pretoria. Uh, you're from an undisclosed location. Next thing, people are stalking you there. You know, carriers <laughs> from the north side know. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah they're stalking always. Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> And how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm so excited to be back. Back again. Mm. <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, let me tell you guys a story. It's not a story, actually. So we shot the previous podcast with Kyra that you guys can go back and watch and refer to. Uh, but, hey, she got home. She took some time to herself. And then she was like, hey, dude, I need to come back. <laughs> I hope I need to come back because she felt like, yo. Oh, she felt like she didn't drop enough, yeah. Mm. So like, yeah, no, guys, I'm glad you guys are good. Uh, I'm amazing. Thanks for asking. Yeah. yeah. And we all know why. Why? We, we all know why you're amazing. I'm amazing. Yeah. yeah, but it's public knowledge. I actually posted on my uh, Instagram, not not my, just a story. There the personal for, one, wasn't it? Yeah, my personal mm. one. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm, I'm a recently, I'm, I, I, must let, I must let people know, even this one. Yes. yes. So I, yeah. I, know, I know she watches all the podcasts there, so this one's for her, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm recently engaged, so like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I think we deserve <laughs> So uh, basically, you are saying um, no late uh, night WhatsApp text from anyone. No. Not that you were doing it. Yeah, uh, no. but obviously marriage comes with uh, T's and C's. Yeah, so schedules. Yeah, it must be. It must be. <laughs> so you don't do whatever that you want anymore. Yeah. Yeah, because the minute you 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 get married is like you are now getting back to being grounded at times and yeah yeah but that's that's what makes it uh be marriage you know yeah, uh, it's yeah. exciting yeah but yeah. i will, will host the a traders uh marriage seminar someday for the traders only it will be empty <laughs> yeah i don't know anybody who's married there's a couple only <laughs> yeah i think it's it will be empty yeah yeah no, I, th I, th I think guys will show up say legit i will show no, up because because you know what's crazy is that uh, mj was 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 stating something i don't know if i can i can say this uh, yes um in terms of like with your woman yeah. or with your wife and then uh also stating that when the money was coming in it it plays a, a very different role because like we're not working stable jobs especially sure. in this sure. in this uh environment <coughs> or this industry it's there's nothing stable about us trading at all yeah. so it does put a strain on relationships but this is not a relationship seminar yo what's up guys it's competition time again top trainer south africa and xm are giving away an ipad to one lucky viewer 
and here's how you can enter the competition. Firstly, make sure you register an account with the link down below in the description and make sure that your account is verified. If you already have an account, register an additional account using the link in the description below under your own profile. Secondly, deposit a minimum of $50 in your account. Thirdly, trade one lot trading Forex, Gold or Silver. Perfect, the competition will run through the month of June 2023 and the winner will be announced on the 7th of July 2023. So guys, let's get trading right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not, but I think it's a good educational content for, for traders who are seeing money coming in. Yes. And maybe you are, you are a trader, you are profitable, and you want to now get into the next stage, which is getting married, of course. But you have to now know that you are no longer trading for yourself. Mm. You are no longer trading for sneakers, cars, and you are now a responsible man. So, yeah, yeah, this traders will, in South Africa, traders right now are trading to go pop bottles. Mm. Yeah, that's the, the thing. Club. That's the thing. Once you marry, then you need to forget about that. that you need, mm. Yeah, you need. Mm. Yeah, you have. You start having children. You start now need to figure out ways mm. of, if money comes in, you are withdrawing money. Um, is it going to settle bills? Is it going to get into savings for kids? Is mm. it going towards school fees? You know, because I believe this channel is for all. Um, <laughs> those that are married, then yeah. those that are still trying to be, yeah, or return soldiers or. <laughs> You know? What you're saying is so important. Yeah. I think a lot of traders when they come into trading and they start making profits, yeah. They don't actually plan their lives. Like nine to five working class people have a routine in, in terms of how they spend their money. They know every month this is going towards medical bills sure. or medical aid. Every month this is going towards school fees. Yeah. Traders don't have their life in order. Mm, mm, they, they, true. Because they don't know that they're going to be getting X amount every yeah, month because sure, they're spending it on sure, other things. They sure. don't have their priorities yeah. in, a, in a row. Mm. That's important. Yeah, but really. I think it, it needs to be percentage based. Okay. How yes. much of your capital uh, are you willing to um, flip in a month? I mean, mm. if I have ten thousand dollars that I'm trading, and I want thirty five percent of returns, you know, you are working towards something. Unlike I will see month end, <laughs> yeah. you see. So I believe that if you're a professional, you know your returns. Yeah. Yeah. If you hit forty five percent, can I can I can I tell you this? Do you know that if you go to Wall Street now, the best best traders there, they make like eight to ten percent on monthly basis mm. returns. I'm talking about the best. Mm. Yeah, South Africa. One thousand percent. Yeah, one thousand percent. One minute. The best of the best in the country. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, so I think it needs to be percentage based. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, for you to know how to, because some people are running it as a business. I'm sure, obviously, you are also into the business of education and all that. There are time slides are not coming in. Who's going to pay the bills for, for rent and, and all those things? <laughs> if that's to? what you're using it for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or if that's how you're paying for those things. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, so it, 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 it just goes back to planning. Mm. How much do you make on a monthly basis, percentage? Yeah. I always tell people, don't ask me how much I make, ask me percentage. Mm. Okay, yeah. so so talking about that, like planning as a trader, because I know both of y'all are like fully fledged traders. I know y'all are like, this is your craft at the end of the day. So we're going to stick on this topic for a little bit, because mm. like, I think a lot of people right now tend to look into at the industry look on the social media and all that and they think that hey look i want to be like that guy but like not aware that there's actually a lot that goes on behind like behind everything behind the scenes that guy might be living recklessly you know all they're living for is popping bottles this girls. is the conversation i want to have this is a conversation we're having right now yes <laughs> <laughs> you know popping bottles and all that you know and people kind of just tend to neglect that you know we're not working nine to five jobs a nine to five mm. job has st stability to it has yes. you know every month your boss must pay you regardless mm. you know every month you need to be paid regardless of anything but as a trader you're working for your own income you're expecting your, you you need you're your own boss right now and I, uh, I was I was talking to someone. He's like, "Yo, you know, being my own boss actually quite kind of sucks, because <laughs> my wife is sick today." Uh, mm. This guy was telling me he's, well, his wife is sick today. He can't be home because he needs to be out here working. Mm. You know, understand? And he's like, "Yeah, but if I was working a nine to five, you know, I'd be able to be 
uh, home right now, take taking off. a take off a take a day off. When you're mm. working for yourself, you can't. Mm. There are no day offs right mm. now. Is what mm. I believe. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a sacrifice at the end of the day where you realize that you no, know, you sacrifice it. It's a sacrifice, you know. Yes. It's a trade off. It's trade off with everything. But like, yeah, how are you guys planning for your lives actually as traders right now? Is is it, do you have a plan for your life, or do you just go into this game thinking that okay, now I'm just gonna be a trader, and then like a lot of people go in here because they wanna be traders, you know. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> I watched other people how they spend their money, and that's how I learned how to not spend money. Okay. Mm. In terms of traders, um, especially when I started meeting traders and sitting down with them, it's not the same person I, I know on Instagram. Mm. Okay, you 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 going somewhere? Yeah, let's <laughs> <better> go. <laughs> please go. Please go. Like. There's been instances where I've sat, I've chilled with traders, it's especially when you look up to people and you finally meet them mm. and then you're like so underwhelmed, like this is who you are, mm. this is how you think, mm. that is how you're managing your life. Mm. It's a, I, so this is why I tell people not to worship traders. Mm. People tend like that's why traders consider them, themselves as celebrities because mm -hmm. of their audience. Their clients make them feel like celebrities. Oh my gosh, it's no, it's me. Hi. <laughs> 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 they, they're not they. Yeah. Don't categorize them in in that section. Like treat them as humans because they, they are human, and the celebrity thing is is just the gram it's, yeah but 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 you understand right now you you're seeing someone that you basically follow on instagram you see them in real life like, yeah the it, problem is on instagram you just bought um a new belt from louis vuitton this week last week you got a gucci bag um the previous week you were flexing your whatever it is and then like two weeks later when we're chilling together, you're leaving early after ordering all these bottles because you actually can't cover these bills. Mm. But you took pictures with these bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so in other words, you're saying um, a lot of traders can't pay their bills. They can't, yeah. I've been in... Celebrities. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these celebrities can't pay their bills. Mm. Yeah. So, have you ever been in a situation, and I think I asked this to someone as well, have you ever been in a situation where you're chilling out with traders and you were kind of left with the bill? Yes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> tell, tell us, us the, the story. That's what we and tell us the name. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to drop names. Yeah, but, yeah, but tell us that story though, because like you, you know what's crazy. Uh, so uh, I don't know. You, we had uh, the summit, that finance mm. magnet yeah. summit recently. So I was uh, talking to some trader. So he's like, nah, he's been DMing a lot of um, traders wanting to meet up. So my first initial question is, what is the purpose of the meet up? Cause like what I, the sense I was getting, and I'm sorry, bro. I'm not gonna, not trying to put you on plus. I'm just sharing the, <laughs> the, the, the conversation as it happened. Cause my first initial question, and I, I was very blunt with him. I'm like, what's your purpose of your meet up? Mm. Is it? Are you trying to be like the Instagram people you see always together? You know, uh, you don't know their financial situations. Mm. Why they're always together? What's what's the plan? You know, and all of that. You know, and all of that. So, the, yeah. So we're busy talking about your experience, high, experience, and also like, yeah, I wanna know. Tell us a story, like of <laughs> like that day you got to the. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That like, tell us a story of that day when you got to the wherever you went, and then you were left with a bill, and we wanna know how much that bill was, and you and how much you paid. All right. Or if you wash the dishes, the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna be doing that. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I arrive in Please don't a location. Say Pretoria. No, Please not Pretoria. Okay. I took a flight to get there. Oh, okay. I, 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 I know. That's <laughs> very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was Durban. Um, yeah, so I arrive in Durban, and usually, like when you arrive in a new place, you want to be, because you have time on your hands before sure. the things that you need to go sort out, you want to be linking up, or people want to link up. Um, so yeah, anyway, I had a 
seminar that I needed to host. And I was with my account manager um, for that evening when we arrived, we decided we're gonna go out, we're gonna celebrate me. Yeah. Um, and the, my first step in whatever it is that I was doing, because I think it was my first seminar. Oh, yeah. So it was something to be proud of, yeah. right? Um, anyway, yeah, we go to the one street in Durban that's known for uh, clubs. You hop from club to club in that street. You know what streets I'm talking about if you live in Durban. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, uh, we were supposed to be linking up with some other well-known people. But he was like, no, I don't want that for you or your image because the last time this person went to a club, they were training for not paying a bill. Mm. So I was like, okay, that person? They were like, yeah, that's that person. I was, I was shocked because <laughs> Uh, according to what I know from the outside, mm-hmm. this person can clearly pay their bills. Like, what's a bottle to you yeah. if you're driving that yeah. or if you're living there? Mm. But anyway, we didn't meet up with him. We ended up going somewhere else. Um, yeah, we we went, I think we went to two clubs. First club, we just did something young, had a bit of Hennessy, had a bit of water, just toned it down. We didn't do too much. And we were already getting tipsy from there. So when we went to the next club, there was no need to be buying bottles for show, right? Um, a couple of other traders ended up being there in the same space as us. Two bottles of Hennessy are being bought here. Three bottles of Jaeger there. We're like, we're still trying to sober up. I don't know who's ordering all these things. Yeah. But anyway, a couple of hours go past and it's time to pay now. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm the only one sitting at this table. I'm ah. looking around. The people I came with are not here. You lie. I'm not lying. And <laughs> wait, I think this was, no, this was the day of my seminar. So the fol- following day, I actually needed to catch a flight back home. So now they're telling me they're not going to let me out. Um, where's the people who, were, who I was sitting with? I'm like, I don't know. I'm calling people. Their phones are not um, being answered. They's like you're gonna have to you're gonna have to cover this bill. I'm like I'm not covering this bill. How can they take me out? Like when I go out with my guy friends, they are such gentlemen. Gentlemen, they don't let me pay for anything. I'll offer. I'll force, and they don't want me to pay for anything. Now nah, I must pay for your alcohol. I'm not even a, an alcohol person. Yeah. I know what I bought. Even when we were there, I bought a bottle of water. I wanted to pay for my water. So you you okay? So you wanted water. <laughs> Yes, to oh, you had water. I and bought you ended, water. You yeah. ended up being given a bill of alcohol. Yes. And yeah. so they didn't let me leave the club. Yeah. I was waiting in a different section. There were lots of eyes, obviously. Mm. I was losing my patience. Like, you guys are not about to do this. Why are you ordering all these bottles if you know you can't pay for them? I'm not covering this bill. My friend was like, please just cover the bill just so we can go, just so we can um, plan the next move and whatever else. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Get your people back here. They need to pay for this. I'm not paying for this. Mm. Anyway, we waited a couple of hours. They came back. They paid the bill. And that was the end of that. But I was like so shocked because I'm like, I'm not even, I don't even stay in Durban. You guys stay here. You guys are supposed to be showing me around. I'm like, this is a foreign environment for me. Why are you just leaving me here? You know? So that was the first time. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know yeah. when there's bottles involved, I need to know, yeah. are, are you covering it since yeah. you ordered it? Yeah. Don't think since we, it's the three of us sitting here, we all gonna be splitting. No, I'm not drinking. <laughs> Mm-mm. So trade your stay of alcohol. It was so traumatizing. Yes. Yeah. Like why? Why do you want to be ordering? You don't. You probably don't even like Hennessy, but because you always see traders posting with Hennessy, you want to be drinking Hennessy, yeah. taking pictures. You don't even finish the bottle, but you you know it to be found. Can't pay the bill. I was hoping that we could relate. We can't. <laughs> but we can't. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, yeah. we can't. We always at home, uh, having our coffee with family. And but you know, I want to get somewhere with this. Um, we you you most probably maybe have passed uh, Johan Rupert a couple of times, but you don't even know the guy. And I'm talking about a multi billionaire. Mm-hmm. Mm. He doesn't need to post anything yes. in order for yeah, him yeah. to be known as the billionaire. Yeah. Now maybe you passed him. Yeah, perhaps somewhere in the streets. 
So uh, I think people must get the fact that what you see on social media is just a marketing tactic. Mm -hmm. True. Most of the people are doing that to to market themselves, and mm -hmm. you just need to be careful. And to sell courses. And to sell courses, just need to be careful of that because yeah. we have a lot of people now. You teach them one thing in one day. Tomorrow they are mentors. You just see by their WhatsApp status. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not even done with, 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 with introduction to all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tomorrow somebody's a mentor. Yeah. You know. yeah have, you, have you seen that happen? Yes. Too, ma like, <laughs> too many people want to be mentors. Mm. Yeah, but like being the mentor seems like it's the it thing but right now. It's not the it thing. Hey, everyone wants it's to be a mentor. <laughs> um, it's depressing. More especially if you do it as a celebrity. Okay. Mm. Yeah, if you if you run it as a business, mm. then you know that different people have different roles to play. Okay. Yeah. But if you are a celeb, they need the celeb to be there. Mm. True. Yeah. Mm. And that's where the pressure comes in. Mm. That's how they fall under pressure and end up in this cycle of just trying to to put up with appearances, but you you can't meet those those requirements or those needs. You it's not consistent. Yeah. And I know this because countless times I see people posting about things that they've spent on. I'm not saying don't go and spend your money. I'm not saying don't post about it. Post about it. But don't be coming to me at the end of the month because there's bills that you need to pay. Don't come to me to borrow money for rent. Where were you yesterday? Yeah. Why did you not budget? If you wanted to go out, why did you not budget for that alcohol? Why did you not budget for that lunch? You wanted to take your girlfriend out. Why didn't you budget for that? You spent money on bae, but you're coming to ask your female friend for money. How does that work? <laughs> hey, hey South African traders. I know. <laughs> yeah, we are a problem. Yeah, no, yeah we but, are a problem. But essentially, uh, we're still on the topic, uh, the initial first topic, but... Um, it's just like, how do you essentially identify? Because like, okay, so I, I don't know how to respectfully say this. There's no respectful way to say this. But like, how do you identify a broke trader? They mind it. Okay. Yeah, but like, unfortunately, so you're saying unless you've met the person, you, you'll never know that they're broke. Well, now I just turn down the meetings because I don't need to be meeting with you. What are we going to do? Do you yeah. want to take pictures with me? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm about like networking. How can we impact each other in the time that we spend with each other? That, like, you'll be able to tell by a lot of things. <laughs> but the mindset, we're, we're the mindset. The, the mindset's the main one. The mindset. Mm. MJD, only um, broke traders. Well, I, I think with me, I don't associate myself with a lot of traders. Yeah. And I think it has helped me a lot. Because I don't pressurize myself. Mm. Um, I'm a businessman. That's what I do. Do business. I'm mm. in the game to make money. Yeah. I'm not here to take pictures. And a lot of people always ask me, what do you drive? Where do you stay? And I'm like, it's so important. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why do I need to tell you? Yeah. First of all, my house is my security for my wife and my kids. Mm. You don't need to know. Mm. My car is my security, right? So I don't need to tell you, because the next thing I'm passing there, you're know, like, ah, look at MJ. The next thing I'm robbed in mm. the next two, two robots ahead. And you're asking yourself why. Exactly, people don't think about the safety aspect of it. Yeah, mm. you, you, it, it's very important. True. Yeah, and if you know that you've worked for something, you know that you don't need to market yourself in, in, in that way. Because mm. you look at the trends, the trends is, give them the fleshy lifestyle, they follow you. Yeah. Give them professionalism. Funny enough, we had a guest just before he came. <laughs> mm. And he said something very important. He said, if if you are doing the right thing, it's very difficult to get a huge following. That's a powerful statement. Eh? If you're doing the right thing, it's difficult to get a following. But if you're doing the wrong thing, you're most likely to get a following. True. Yeah. So I, I don't meet I don't meet with broker. I mean uh, <laughs> 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 so I, I, I always say that. Like, I'm sure you saw um, at FMAS. Yeah. Um, I was just not working, and whoever I meet, I meet, and I, I go about my business. Mm. I don't yeah. like this. Yeah. 
I like working, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like working. If I work, I feel good. If I socialize, then I need to not work. Yeah. For me to be working again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, we're still on the other topic of the. Can I put it money management, especially for guys who are thinking that they were traders or I want to be a trader? Like, mm. how are you guys managing your money? Uh, money is. Uh, uh, MJ said he's using percentages. Uh, to calculate what but essentially we don't know how much money is coming in but like how do you actually manage that because i know i've asked you this before Mara. tell the people again <laughs> <laughs> i'm also big on percentages okay. yeah because like you're saying you all know the figure but if you're basing it off of percentages even in terms of like your accounts if your targets are based on percentages you'll never risk more than what you're supposed to sure. you'll never it's hard for you to to be on the wrong side of of things in terms mm. of how you're managing your money. Um, yeah, same when it comes to expenses. Like, there's money management rules that I think were taught in school that people just don't pay attention to. I don't know what's the percentage, but I think it's like um, 20, 50% of your, of what you earn must go towards um, your monthly expenses. Yeah. And then like, 20% must be for savings and then yeah. the other 10 is for um what is it running off errands and all yes. that yeah. yeah and uh and then another percentage for outings and fun yeah activities sure. and stuff like that people don't do it that way when they start making money mm. they start thinking because i made this 50k so quickly it's gonna be easy to make it again. Mm. So I can just spend the whole thing and maybe just put like a, a 5K away. No. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I don't understand. Yeah. yeah so making sure you kn- like also channeling everything. You have to journal your whole life, mm. not just your trades, but okay. journal um, your, expen- your expenses. Mm. No, have a, have a plan like people don't have plans they don't plan for the future if you're planning for the future there's no way you're going to be wasting a cent mm. mm-hmm. people tend to think that um wealthy people are are just out here spending whatever they want to they can spend what they want to when they want to because they've worked for it and they've put a certain amount towards that mm. But they it's, they know where every cent of their money is going. Yeah, yeah. they're not spending yeah. recklessly. Yeah, the people are gonna be seen at the Gucci yes. store, at the yeah. LV store. <coughs> yeah, you yeah. know, cause hey, that's what's happening on Instagram. That's that's the big thing right there. But mm. it depends if okay. you're an individual, okay. um, and you're just a trader, as they are called or we are called. It's going to be difficult for for you to differentiate yourself from, you know, just a celeb or a rapper or a soccer player compared to a business person. Okay. Because for me, I believe you have to get your salary. Mm. Traders must get, you get a salary. Yes. Funny enough, I was talking to my business partner this other time and we looked at the revenue coming in and I was like, we don't afford anything this month. We had to take a loan from our business. Right, take a loan from the business to pay bills for for the company. And we had to have a target to say within three weeks we need to make so much. This goes to workers, this goes to bills, this goes to the loan that we took. Because a business on its own it's an entity. Mm-hmm. So the minute you start eating from it, you're collapsing it. And it's actually fraud. Mm-hmm. By the way, the minute you register with CIPC, you eat something from that business. It's just that your business cannot talk. But if, if a bookkeeper would come and you're being investigated and they see that you're taking money from the business account and you're using it for your own personal use, you can be arrested for that. Mm. Read the T's and C's of CIPC, the PTY Limited, the company that you would open online and you are thinking, oh, now I have a company. <laughs> T's and C's apply. So the minute you know that, okay, I've got this business and I, 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 I aim to make maybe 45, 50%, 80% of what I'm investing right you know that the money that is coming in how much is your salary your salary is your for your own personal things then the rest is for the businesses to maintain the business Mm. Mm. but the minute money comes in you're posting it and you're showing us how much got in then i start seeing that you're not you're not a business person (laughs) you're a rapper you're not a business person you're a rapper you're not a business person Bro, go to ShopRite, go to Pick and Pay, go to McDonald's and ask them the, how much they make this month. The owners probably don't know. 
You know that. They know their salaries. They don't know. After the financial year end, that's when they will say we are up by a certain percentage. They don't even know mm. because they get paid a salary. Mm. So this thing I'm my own boss. Mm. It's, it's what makes people think that they, they are in charge of it. Mm. You need a salary. You get a salary. You know, my wife knows my salary. Mm. I have a salary. And I would tell her that, hey, this man that didn't do well. Salary will go down. <laughs> salary, salary, salary. <laughs> you know? So it helps us to manage the house. Mm -hmm. it, and, and, and if you're a business person or you're a trader, you get paid last. Mm. Yeah, I run a construction business and I feel so bad at times. I'm looking at these people and say, hey, Mulungu, it's Friday. <laughs> then they'll say, Pusa Friday. They know it's payday, right? And I'm thinking this amount is going to come in and 90% of it is just going to these guys and bills. Mm. And I, I'm, I'm not going to get anything. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? So it, it all goes back to what are you doing? What are you running? What type of an entity that you are running? Yeah. yeah. So we behave like we are running non-profit organization. In fact, the <laughs> non-profit organizations, they behave better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know? So yeah. going back to what she's saying about the Insta life and you sit down with a person and like, ah, but this, this, this is empty. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hey, this is empty. Yeah, you start thinking about petrol from Pretoria to <laughs> Jose, but I waste it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because because what you see on on, on the social life, um, it's not what they are and who they are. Yeah, right. And some of them, they are actually smart. Okay, mm. but they are misleading themselves with how they proclaim themselves on social media. Mm. You know mm. So you say like, ah, when are you? You know, you are like a scam, are you? But you sit down with a guy and like. But this guy is actually smart. Mm. If he could change the way he does his things mm. on socials, this guy could go far. Mm. Multiple personalities and uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Is it in Fundi Wunda? <laughs> Who, who's that? Is it the producer for Generations or the writer? Oh yes, yeah. I yeah. think if he needs um, actors, okay, he must come to our industry. <laughs> Don't you think? One hundred percent. I'm telling you, all these guys from all the soapies generations, you know, they will go without a job if he comes to our industry. Highly yeah. skilled, naturally. Very they don't skilled. need to go study for that. Yeah, yeah there needs mm. to be a course for that. <laughs> yeah. So, what are some of the things that you, uh, uh, okay, Kyra, that you've seen people do, uh, tactics, gimmicks, or whatnot to sell, like? Uh, to sell courses, to sell or game, whatever it is you want to call it, yeah. The usual stuff that What's makes them getting dead, like taking out, um, yeah, they will take out loans. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that when you're taking out a loan, you shouldn't be using it to go and splurge. Yeah. When you take out a loan, it must be invested. The money yes. must be invested. And wherever you're investing it, needs to pay back the loan and give you profits. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, that's it. It's easy as that. So what about female traders? What about them? <laughs> Do you encounter the same trend of what um, transpired to you, the Devin or? Um, there are some shady ones, but mm. I, I'm not friendly with everyone. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, essentially, you know, you know, what girls, girls need to come together, yes, yeah. Girls need to like. That's sing. the thing. It would be nice, but everybody views each other as competition. Yeah. Oh yes. Makes and they catish. They like to cause drama. Um, they feel threatened in your presence. They don't feel like. They they don't know who they are, mm. so they threatened by who you are because mm. they feel small around you. It shouldn't be that way. You should know who you are. Mm. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Because essentially, I would like to see like, uh, but I'm lying. Not that I would like to see because I I do realize uh, women in this industry are tend to be tend to be more focused Very. more. Um. Because you probably know more women who are making money from trading than than men than men who are actually like maintaining the money they make from. And this is, you hear what I'm saying, but girls maintaining their money better than men, you know, and I think it just goes, but it also goes outside of trading as well, you know, you just find that in life, you know, uh, women just seem to be, manage money better. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Like, yeah, yeah especially like sad. even in relationships, the woman is the one who will 
manage the man's money. Yeah. Or the business. Like yeah. he must bring her in because he knows she's gonna bring like stability. Mm. Yeah. You're right on that. <laughs> is, um, it, is it like the backstory of what we get in the Bible? What? A woman uh, being good uh, managers? Is it? Yeah, I think it does say something like that, but essentially. Eve. Eve. <laughs> <laughs> look at where we are now. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, please be easy with me. Eh? It's, it's like MJ has been waiting. He's been sitting on that one for a very long time. It's like, the day I get my out. chance to say this, I'm going to go ahead and say it. And I'm not going to chat about the platform. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Yeah, yeah but I, I agree with you. We uh, Women are more relaxed and more focused and they, they plan. That's why they live long. Mm. Yeah, they live long because yeah. it's amazing. Have you seen that a woman can do multitasking like a pro, man? Like they can do dishes, laundry, plaiting children's hair while trading. <laughs> you know that? Mm. But a man, it's difficult to do that because men, men must be there the whole day. Yeah, on that thing. On, on the to see, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the screen. How the house is looking, no. where the dishes are done, where the kids have eaten. Nah, yeah. not, not their problem, not their problem. Yeah. yeah. But I think we need a female president. I, I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, funny comments, but I'm ready. I agree. I think we need one, especially in Africa. Yeah. I think we Ka- do. Kara agrees, of course. Kara, I feel like Kara agrees with anything female. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> female. <laughs> 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 but I yeah. think we do. Uh, I think we do. We need to give them a chance. Yeah, no, nah, we will. Look at what they're doing in the trading industry. Yeah. We we are seeing more scammers. Have you seen that when you are a, a male trader, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm a forex trader, you are being looked as a scammer. Yeah. <laughs> but when you come as a female, say, wow, she's smart. Is it only me? Um, I think that it is like that. Yeah. Quite a percentage of the time. Yeah. Um, I don't like to tell people that I trade, but when I have, they do give me that side eye as to say, oh, wait, how? how? Are you mm. are you selling courses or, or oh, what? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what traders are known for. Traders mm. are not known to be business people who um, make money. Mm. While here, they, they're known for having a lifestyle of, of course, money. Mm. So they look at you and they're like, oh, you're also selling courses. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like completely like, yeah, like, yeah, we don't feel you anymore. <laughs> no, <not> anymore. <laughs> but how do you um, present yourself or rather let me rather say or ask this question? You have obviously um, male clients. Mm. Uh, how do they view you? Uh, as, a, as a woman because I know in Africa a lot of women are suffering from this um, regardless of their position just because you're a woman I can't listen to you mm. so don't you sometimes get those vibes I used to a lot okay. and it was very difficult um, but that was when I had like open platforms for everybody to be uh, in Oh, okay. Just allowing anybody in, giving people the opportunity to just speak, not like monitoring what's been spoken about. Mm. Um, yeah, a lot of them were threatened by me, and I didn't mm. understand it because I'm like, I'm out here just wanting to see you guys win. Mm. Why are you coming into my space and trying to rearrange furniture? Why are you coming here to promote your stuff? Yeah. You get me? Mm. Um, but in terms of like my paid mentorship, they very respectful like mm. we all treat each other respectfully nobody nobody i don't have problems with anyone mm. because i'm female okay. and i'm the mentor no okay like yeah i just want to see everyone win yeah yeah that's good you really that's a good mentality and she really does want to see everyone win you know that and yeah. it's like such a powerful thing that she really carries with her and yeah. I've seen it from Thank time you. and time and time again. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So I know one of the topics for today uh, is uh, mm, which one should we start with, MJ? Um, mm. yeah, yeah, witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft. No witchcraft. Funny one. enough, you know, we, uh, when we're starting to, I'm, I'm having back, back, back problems. I'm getting hot now. <laughs> yes, you see, this thing is almost waking now. The witchcraft. <laughs> 
just had it in my bag is, is hurting. Yeah. 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 Um, witchcraft yeah. In, in the industry. Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. What? Until okay. I came in, in contact with it. Really? Is it? Mm. How? No, but People like, are doing this? No, but like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I need to ask this. Okay, so, okay, I'm black. Nah. Yes. Uh, uh, you are colored. colored. Okay, cool. Colored people. I'm also black. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> 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 <I'm sorry. laughs> Yes, this is not my kid mustache. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, was yeah. tra- I was trying to find the right way to ask for her race properly. You yeah, yeah, understand? Sure. <laughs> no. Okay, so even colored people like witchcraft? No. No, well, don't. It depends on like your, your ancestry. Okay. So some okay. colored people will have like family members, they'll have white family members, they'll have yeah. Indian family members. I have black family members, oh, so, the pl- so I know these things. <laughs> oh, the black side of the black side. But I w- <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> 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 you see, you see why why they look down on us black people? It is people like <laughs> people like this. <laughs> I want to ask, because um, you said witchcraft, right? Yeah. And um, I believe that there are types of witchcraft. Okay. Let's break it down. Yeah. Mm. Jealousy, bro, is, is witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Eh. I'm telling you. Eh. Like, like jealous- evil eye. Like an evil eye. Like yeah, somebody like, looking at you and wishing bad on you. Yes. That, that's also witchcraft, yes, yeah. I agree. Um, mm. Commenting. <laughs> On YouTube, <laughs> just because somebody is saying a statement that you are against <laughs> and saying bad things, it's a form of witchcraft. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm about to preach now. By the way, guys, um, I'm a pastor, by the way, by okay. profession. Um, he knows this. And some of you know it. No, they know it. They know it. <laughs> yeah. Um, people think that witchcraft is juju and some of the behavioral patterns we have bro that's witchcraft at the last level <laughs> i mean how do you wish bet um for someone who's doing well yeah how do you come against somebody who's saying his opinion opinions are like belly buttons all of us we have our own mm. if i say my opinion you are against it or you don't agree with it you don't have to hurt me for that take a snapshot and now go on on social media, look at what MJ said. That's a form of witchcraft. An electronic <laughs> one, by the way. Today's witches are, 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 are modern. <laughs> you, you, you know, and chat GBT is here. You know, so they are going to advance now. I'm telling you. By the way, let me not say a lot. Um, tell us about your experience in, in this um, um, uh, sector. <laughs> Mm. <coughs> mm. So, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, I'm, I'm still a bit shocked to know that this is something people do in order to be known in the industry, mm. right? Um, I came across someone who's very well known, very well respected. He's a mentor in his, in his country. He's, he's known. And he did try to, like, I don't know if he, I, I really don't know. That's why you guys are going to have to confirm <laughs> these things. Yeah. And, and tell me what's happening here. I said the viewers will, like, yes. confirm yes. for you today. Because <laughs> some of you are masters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um, he, uh, he knows I'm young. Mm-hmm. I, I'm working hard. I'm working on my brand. He's already made it wherever he's he's at. He told me that he envisions me being like him, but even better. He sees me being the the female trader in Africa. And I was okay. like, okay, thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Um, because the type of setting that it was, it was like a networking type of setting. I thought if I sit down with this person, they're going to have some really good advice for Mm. me and my business, right? So they told me they can 
show me why they are where they are. I'm like, okay, what's your strategy? I didn't know that that was their strategy. But anyway, this person trades uh, gold. And they're like to me, <laughs> did you know that you don't need to, you don't need to know anything. As long as you trust this thing here, I'm telling you, it will give you the direction of the market. What? Gold? Of, of gold. He trades gold. So he's going to show me now how he gets the direction of gold without oh. analyzing, without looking at um, the event calendar. None yeah, of yeah. that. He pulls out a, a book. I don't know if it was a book or a Bible. Yeah. But it was wrapped in, in string. And it had like uh, like a like something on the tip where you could hold and he was asking this thing questions and what? it was turning <laughs> the thing was it turning. was turning he was holding it and it was turning every time he said something for example will gold be bullish today at 3 30 if if it is turn right the thing turns right <laughs> i'm sitting here and i'm like this is it that can't be it because I know how, how hard you have to work in order mm. for you to actually get mm. the skill. How many people are being misled by being told, mm. just mm. do this thing, just just sacrifice this thing, and you can have it all. All the money will come to you. Um, sure. All the people will come to you. And it's not like that. Like People should know there's no, it doesn't, it, there's no easy way out of this thing. Yes, it, it, it takes a lot of hard work and time, but there's, that, there's no easy routes. Mm. And perhaps, and he's definitely skilled in what he does, but this is probably like a backing. And yeah, maybe there are other forces ensuring that he can maintain his position where he is. Sure. And people can keep looking at him as this person. So I was like very surprised. I want to know how many other people are meddling with other forces in order to make sure that Money's coming in. What sacrifices have they made to make sure money's coming in? Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, very. That's very. another level. <laughs> that's a whole new level, yeah, right? That's there. another level. That's you, you're scratching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scratching because my hair is like going on. <laughs> I'm joking. It was, yeah. Yeah. No, that's actually really, uh, yo. Mm. I don't have much to say on this actually because, like, but like, you know, and it's actually quite. A real chat with a lot of people actually and there's so many things that we actually do not see yes. you know i just uh previously we were talking with uh who um yeah uh, izzy mm. we're saying that money spiritual period it is. uh i've heard so many other traders say the exact same thing that saying that money is spiritual mm. the money is within the spirit realm you understand that yeah. and all of those things that's where money is. so you understand right now that you don't we actually don't really understand the 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 length at which a lot of people are actually mm. going to get their money and all that, you know. Mm. I, I know hey, there was a time there with this, um, that other pasta. There's an, there's an, <laughs> there was another pasta. I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Uh, very pasta. Apparently, it was making people keep snakes in the boots of their yeah. car and mm. all that. You mm. understand? So, the, well, that's the, like that too. Yeah, so these things really go to certain lengths. You so like, understand? Even someone right now sitting by the chats there, <laughs> he, maybe he's got a pet snake there yeah. sitting yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. all that, and I, I don't know, like, I, like it's all spiritual. At the yeah, end of it the is. Day. It yeah. is definitely. The, the thing is, don't front and put on this front to say mm. you're a religious, godly person, mm. and you praying to to who people think you're praying to. Yeah, but it's actually a different entity. Wow. In in the face of it all, you're you're in suits. You're showing up. You're praising mm. God, the Lord, but that's not really who it is. And Behind the scenes, there's yes, something. <laughs> like, it's like a religious front, but they actually know spiritually, mm. spirituality at its depth. They, they know certain things, mm. Mm. and they, they meddle with it. Yeah. Sure. Um, I, I, I want to say this on camera, that um, I don't believe in praying for money. Okay. Money doesn't respond to your prayers. It okay. responds to your covenant. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. You work, you get paid. Yes. Hmm. As easy as that. 
Okay. I never pray for money. Any pastor who tells you pray for 10 hours, money will come is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> it never works like that. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're growing in the things of God, you start realizing that it's not as easy as they say it is. You you pray a lot, you fast, and you're like, nothing is happening. We've tried all these things, some of us. Mm. You, you know, there's, not, there's no prayer we have been through. There's no mountain we have been climbing. You know, but you start realizing that you are learning that this is not about prayers. It's all about co- 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 covenant. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. It's God who's going to give you the mindset, the ideas. Have you noticed that uh, we never found anything on this earth? You know that. The chair we are sitting on, Miles Monroe says, you didn't find it there. It was hiding in a tree. Mm. 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 Powerful. Mm. Yeah. So this, and the technology we see today, some people will say, yeah, the technology of today, back in the days, there was, a, the technology was there. It was not yet discovered. Yeah. It's not like it's something new. Heaven is just throwing the new iPhone Pro Max. <laughs> no. If, if somebody had the mentality, the capacity to figure out that technology, we could have had iPhone Pro Max 14 oh, back, back in the days. Mm. <laughs> it was there. They haven't discovered it. Yeah. So life is all about discovery. Yeah. So I agree with what you're saying. People will come and say, I'm a pastor. And I've seen that a lot of traders now are pastors. I don't know if it's only me. It's um, like a... It's a, it's a new thing. It's a new it's trend. Like it's a, a new trend. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. You can't draw a trend line on that thing. How? <laughs> yeah. A lot, of, a, a, lot of, a lot of traders are becoming pastors today. Let's talk about why. Okay. I, I feel like some are genuine. Mm, some they, they really are called to do what they do mm-hmm. and also when we are talking about the spiritual side or the christian side of things have you seen that a lot of celebrities are also becoming sangomas mm. there's mm. a lot that is happening around yeah, us there is. desperation when you see this you start realizing that money is scarce that's why i agree with the statement money is a spirit mm. spiritual yeah. so people are looking for ways to cover themselves true you know, somebody once told me this. He said, um, I, I got in his shop and he said, um, I, I wanted something and it was rude to me. I wanted to swipe something. And I was like, yeah, for you to swipe, you, you have to pay 10 rand extra. I'm like, why? <laughs> I was like, no, pay charges. And I'm like, no, dude, that's a, that's a cost of doing business. Mm-hmm. You pay those charges, not me. If this bottle of water is, is 20 bucks, I'm paying 20 bucks. That's the price I see. And that's the price I'll pay. Don't tell me now I have to pay 30 because I'm swiping. So now if you brought cash, you would pay. I said, no. So we started having an exchange. And he said to me, if you go on like this, I'm going to kiss you. You will be broke in the next minute. I said, bro, I don't care about cases. I don't care like who saw that thing that you say gold, the 10 left, <laughs> three times will go up. And I don't care about those things because sometimes we are self-diagnosing ourselves with things that are not there. Mm. Yes, yeah. in- including power. I- I- including power. Believing that you are cursed, you are losing in the market, and you are now saying you need to go for cleansing. I mean, really? You need cleansing, man. Get a right mentor. Get the things right. You need cleansing. Yes. Now waste money by you <laughs> open. And, you know? Yeah. So it's, it's all about the mentality, man. How, how we, especially we Africans, mm-hmm. <laughs> mentality is wrong. Yes. It's wrong. Yeah. So if you, were, if you were another person, you could have taken that. Yeah. Hey. And then people are chasing things. Actually. And you know it can work. Some pastor was selling bricks. <laughs> bricks, like <laughs> bricks. So if yeah. you buy this brick, you build a house. You know how many people build houses? A lot. Wow. Not to say that thing was working, you change their mentality. Yeah. Now wherever they go, they had a mentality to build. And they were learning their mindset. That's the powerful thing about it, like yeah. mindset wise, yeah. vibration wise. Vibration wise, yeah, sure. Everything sure. is vibration. If yeah. you strongly believe that this bottle of water is going to cure your cancer and someone yeah. sells it to you for a million dollars and you buy it, it you can. will most likely be cured yeah. from cancer because mm. that's what you think subconsciously. Yeah. 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 It's just a placebo effect. Yeah, sure, sure. So traders are not really struggling from the market. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's all mindset, so that's, all that's, mindset. that's all trading is at the end of the day. Like, it's mindset. just a mindset thing, and if the mindset is in a good place, mm. you know, a proper place, if everything is okay, you know, pe- 
people like I say, people come in here into this game think. Because thing is, I but as well the Instagram thing also influences so many people's mindsets. Because like, like I said, when I met that boy the other day, I'm like, what's your purpose of trying to meet up with traders? Because because mm. to me, it just felt like he was just trying to uh, be one be like what he's seeing so you understand mm. he's already coming in with that mindset of like yeah no I want to be celebrity now yeah. mm. but no it's true go trade focus on the charts read a book read a trading book mm. and so things like that you know read a book on money management actually do some self development work because like essentially the mindset is a mm. very powerful mm. place mm. I like that you emphasize that what <laughs> what you just said about mindset go read a book like mm. people loved us the same questions all the time yeah Kyra, like i ask all the time what is it that you guys are struggling with psychology holding um mm. entering too early um formal formal mm. so then just don't do that mm. the answer is simple as that yeah if, if you don't like the fact that you keep blowing your account because you know you're over risking. You, you just told me that you're over risking. Mm. Stop over risking. You, your problem is fixed. But people like to stay in their mess. It's very simple. If you can pick up a book, if you can change your mindset, if you mm. can get in the gym, most of your problems are solved. Yeah. yeah going to gym, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it also plays a huge role no, in the trading. Uh, no, it does. Taking care of yourself. Yeah. Uh, especially as a trader. Yeah. You need your A game. Mm. I always tell people around me, don't stress me. Don't mm. stress me. Like, don't stress me. I'm in a very frustrating game. Mm. I don't need stress. That's true. Yeah. Even at home, they know. I don't need stress today. <laughs> <I'm> trading. <laughs> CPI today, no stress. <laughs> yeah, because you, yeah. you need to concentrate. Yeah, take care of yourself. Some of you are suffering from the food you eat, mm. and you are saying, "Hey, the market is against me." <laughs> it's the food you eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taking care of yourself. Yeah, you are not um, looking out for you know the wrong things that you do. Mm-hmm. Every time you lose, you don't you don't ask yourself why. Mm. No, and I believe that every strat- every strategy must have a trading plan. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. have like I think four, five trading plans. Mm. We call it the Bible. Okay. And we hold one another accountable. Mm. If you take a trade, and you lost, yeah. With if you are trading with me, it's a problem. Because mm. I hold you accountable. Mm. Then is it that. according to the bylaws? The Bible is here. If it is, I don't have a problem. But if you went out, then you must explain. Yes, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Mm, that's actually quite that, that's actually quite smart right yeah, there. Yeah, accountability, yeah. man. Just get somebody to hold you accountable. Yeah. Mm, yeah. An accountability partner. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah accountability partner. For everything, yeah. So you mentioned two things earlier on. Uh, you mentioned pastas being scammers, so just the scammer part. And then you just mentioned CPI right now. Kyra. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a direction. Man. I'm not involved. Okay. Where is that driver? Where is that driver? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I'm, tr- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, because uh, there's something you, you mentioned uh, in that, in that, do you remember that text you sent me, that, that hot one? Mm. No way, it's just like, what are traders uh, doing to sell mm. news events, mm. basically? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, like how are they using news events right now? Because like to music, scam people, to scam people. Because news events right now are currently the, the it's a big talk of the town every month. CPI, mm. NFP, mm. Uh, interest rates. Yeah, so you understand right now. Mm. So there's, 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 there's these moments during each month where it's time to capitalize on people because mm. essentially everyone's looking for the direction of the CPI. Everyone's looking for the direction of NFP mm-hmm. and whatnot. So how are people basically? Open, open our eyes to to what's really going on out there. <laughs> Number one, like know who you're taking signals from, right? Every single news event, people, they may own brokers, they may not own brokers, but mm. people, maybe they're even working for <coughs> brokers. Mm. Um, they get you to pay a fee to join live trading okay they're gonna send you direction you join the live they send you the direction but at the back they're being paid to send you the wrong direction Mm. everybody blows 
And where's the money going? Hmm. How how are you being paid? Hmm. Hmm. Don't scam people like that. Yeah. So they're working with brokers. Yes, and like most of the time, the accounts that they're trading, because obviously you want to be in on this, because three hundred k is floating here. Mm-hmm. It's a test account. Yeah. They're not making money from their accounts. They're being paid from you blowing your account. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're being paid from posting on Instagram. You you can get an influencer package when you are with a broker. They can pay you just to post about the broker. Yeah. They can pay you to put their sticker on your car. Mm. They can pay for your car too. Mm. But like, like that, but they can pay for your car too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, it, and I'll be honest, working with a broker is not supposed to be a bad thing. It's not. Mm. It's mm. not supposed to be a bad thing. Like legit, I don't think it was ever meant to be a bad thing, but there are bad apples. Yes. Mm. Bad apple brokers, bad apple IBs. Just bad apples in jail. And it becomes a problem when a bad apple broker mixes with a bad apple IB. Mm-hmm. Then it's just a, 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 a recipe for disaster it right is. there. Yeah. It is. It's, it's so scary. Mm. Um, yeah, man. So, like, scamming them in that way. But they the, didn't take the trade in that direction. But, okay, okay. Nah, They're going okay, to manipulate. I, 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 got, I got questions, though. I got questions, though. How, how do I put this? So... <sighs> Starters, how do the okay? So essentially, what you're saying is that the broker would know uh, somehow the direction of CPI, and then it basically be a matter of like, okay, go give the signal. Uh, then the trader gives the signal, and then from there, uh, the wrong signal goes out, obviously, and then the people taking the trade trade, and obviously they lose the money, and obviously there's a there's a profit and loss deal in place mm-hmm. so however much percentage of those losses the trader gets to his pocket correct yes sometimes it's, it's not that the broker knows the direction sometimes the trader does know the direction mm. um but every it doesn't matter if you're buying or selling during use you're gonna make profits it just depends on your timing mm. um but if yeah man <laughs> like if uh if I know the direction and I'm like, everybody join my live at this time, um, we're all gonna be trading. Uh, fund your account, sign up with my link. Fund your account, fund this amount, we're gonna trade. You send a sell, or I send a sell signal to you. But the market didn't actually sell, sell it bought. Mm, but yeah. I actually took a sell on my other account, my, my real account. Yeah. The one that I'm showing you here, I'm gonna act like I probably blew with you. I'm sorry, guys. I got the direction <laughs> wrong. I I knew what I was doing. Mm. Um, but at the yeah, like at the same time, it doesn't mean that they can know the direction. Like the broker's gonna tell them the direction. Sometimes they away. They'll take two directions. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's two ways to trading news, but people, because they look up to certain individuals so much, they trust in them, and if they see that this person's making money. They think that, okay, let me follow or let me let them take me under their wing. Okay, so I've always, okay, I've always had a problem. There's something I've always, like, had an issue with, actually. We're talking about trade directions, news directions and all that. Like, you know how there's guys who essentially, like, record a video of themselves, like, trading live. Hey, I just made money. Mm. (laughs) You know, the whole thing. Loki, I've only suspected. Okay, guys, this is this is not based on any. This is my. This is Nobila right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I didn't take this from anyone. It's just I'm. I'm just being analytic about a lot of mm-hmm. situations. I always feel like there's all these two videos that people are taking. I always feel like it's it's not factual. It's not based on anything. Because I always Loki feel like ah, guys, right there. Like it always feels like there's two videos being taken, one for a buy, one for a sell. I'm pretty sure there is. Because how is it that we took the buy with you and maybe it was on live? Yeah. But later after the event you posting the sell. Yeah. And you in profits. Yeah. Mm. I'm yeah. confused. Brutality. Yeah. yeah. Guess, Sometimes nah. you know, it's not just the direction. It's the fact that they know that on that day they're gonna freeze your your servers okay. with that yeah. broker. Yeah. It doesn't matter what direction we trade, we can give you the right direction, but as long as we freeze the server, yeah. where's your money? You're not gonna be able to close when price comes back. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, they 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 can do that. They actually have a right to do that. They do, and we they agree to right. it. Yeah, you agree to. You know that thing that you sign up for. <laughs> <laughs> that citizens' yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, it actually tells you that during news. Okay. Um, they, uh, yeah. yeah, there's. Yeah. The, Increase spread. They can increase spread. Yeah. Uh, if you put your stop loss too tight, it might not even work. Yeah. Mm. You put your stop loss on 15 points, it might not even work. Yeah. They hit you hard there. So at the end of the day, you're going to say, ah, this broke is me. You signed up for that. Yes. yes. You signed up for that. But, you know, there, there are certain things you also look out for. We, we, I saw a certain broker um, in Australia. We signed up, we had an account with them. And uh, you know, like if you are having something like your C Trader, because that's what I enjoy mm-hmm. using, it will basically show you your performance on monthly basis, weekly basis. Yeah. And it was actually saying that we are 68.9% right or most of the time, but the money was not increasing. The money is not increasing, but you're winning a lot. And it's not like you're closing your trades too quick. Simply means when you are winning, they were tidying up the spread. Mm. And when you are losing, they are widening mm-hmm. the spread. So when you are losing, it feels like you lose more. <laughs> yeah, when you open a trade, it says minus fifty dollars. <laughs> but when you are winning, you're like, ah, but this thing is not moving. Man. <laughs> this thing is being going up and high. Their money is still on the same position, but the candle is moving up. <laughs> You know, yeah. so that's that's one of the ways to see. That's what I'm saying. If you work on a uh, with percentage, it's going to easy to see if you're with the right broker or not. True. Yeah. Don't look at the money. Look at the percentage uh, and study how much or how many trades I took. Because mm-hmm. I believe that uh, every trader must know on average how many trades you take in a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Same as a soccer player who knows I'm a striker and on a monthly basis on average i score 10 goals yeah so you should know it might not be 10 you might hit seven trades but you should know that yeah, my yeah. average is this and my risk reward you know you don't have to be right all the time yeah. that's so true and you just you just need to have a right money management you know that's i don't it. think i don't think i'm a good trader to be honest with you yeah i don't think i'm a good i'm a good money manager okay I don't have to be right all the time. <laughs> and some people will say, but you are not bothered. You just lost. And I'm like, I lost this. Mm. But believe you me, when I'm going to win, I'm going to stack it up. <laughs> so you don't need to be a good, you don't need to win all the time. Yeah, mm. so true. You win five, you lose five. Yeah. You're a good trader. Mm. Mm, Even if you lo- lose six and win four, you're still a good trader as long as you double watch what you're willing to lose. Okay. Mm. So you lose 20 bucks, you must make sure when you win, you win 60 bucks. Mm. Mm. Some they lose 80% of the time, but they're still profitable. Mm. Yeah. You don't need to be so right true. all the time. So they're true. obsessed with winning. And yeah. perfection. And yeah. perfection. <laughs> this thing must go my way. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and all of us, we are, I'm sure we've all passed that. It will go my way. Yeah. It will go my way. And yeah. when it doesn't say, hey, Marabak, the market today. <sighs> Something <laughs> not right. Yeah, the one is not right. <laughs> that thing doesn't have to go your way, or you put the turn line and see it will bounce off there. <laughs> As if you, you, don't. you look at a one minute chart today, trying to analyze the next move, like, hey, should I stay yeah. in this trade or not? Mm. And the yeah. belief we have in, in people that are out there, yeah. it's amazing, man. Yes, you, know, you could believe someone with all your money. Yeah, just because of the way they market themselves and say, "Yeah, this guy can make me money." Yeah, nah. He's pro- most probably clueless like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clueless. So true. Yeah, so true. Clueless. So true. Yeah. So okay. So, okay. One more story before we have to wrap it up today. Uh, your your the the is it the FSCA scam or the SP? Oh. The, the the person who scammed you there. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. were scammed. Hey, guys, Kyra got scammed, guys. Kyra, yeah, I feel like Kyra like got I, scammed. I think I like I, I, Kyra got scammed, guys. I feel like Kyra. Tell I feel like Kyra <laughs> been through it. <laughs> I think you should write a book. It's been a <laughs> From bills that are not paid <laughs> to barrels that predict things. <laughs> To now be scammed. Let's hear more. Let's hear more uh, about this. Like you're saying, um, people can trust people with their money based on how well they market themselves, mm. right? I was friends with someone, friends, okay. right? Um, 
And here's the the tricky part again. They were using spirituality in our friendship. Mm. Not to control anything. What mm. I'm saying is they knew that I'm a spiritual person, so they mirrored my interests. Oh. They tried to be interested in the same things as me. They got mm. close to me. I'm like, okay, we friends. Um, I really believed this person could trade. Because, yes, when we're posting our trades, we're only posting ones. Mm. We want you to see the ones... I didn't know that he was mm. losing mm. majority of the time. Anyway, um, turns out he was doing account management. I know I'm, I'm always saying don't don't go to people who do account management, but I fell for it. I'm sorry, I admit it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. So he was doing account management with prop firms, okay. and this is way before I started getting involved in prop firms. I was just making money on my own accounts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I felt like I needed to do a bit more work internally before I could actually pass all challenges on a prop firm, mm-hmm. right? So because he was doing it and I saw that he's skilled in this, because that's what he's posting, I'm like, okay, please manage this prop firm account for me. It wasn't my account, it was actually for my brother. Okay. I didn't have the time to be managing several accounts that week. There's a lot of accounts that I'm busy managing mm. of my own. Yeah. <laughs> disclaimer, full disclaimer. There are people of my own. Yeah, no, I don't do account management. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And of course, when you go for account management, the company or the person needs to have a license from mm. the FSEA. Yeah. Right. Blonde moments. Anyway, <laughs> I trusted them because they're my friend. Yeah. Got them to manage the account. I think the account was like... 20k and his account manager was uh 10k so in total it was like a 30k that just went well initially it was going wow. just to cut you off the 30k rands or dollars rands oh uh, because we're international yeah. Yeah. Mm. i wanted to say 500 dollars but i didn't know if they're gonna yeah. know international yes okay yeah. so it's like uh 1.5 usd okay okay um yeah he just kept coming back to tell me that if he doesn't think this thing was working out but he's gonna try again tomorrow um i'm like okay no problem i just left him to do his thing because i'm doing my own thing here i'm mm. busy I'm busy with other things right now. This guy, have you guys experienced GB WhatsApp? Do you know what's GB WhatsApp? GB WhatsApp. Yeah, yes. that, 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 that other fake WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, it's not fake, but that, that, yeah, that other WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah that other kind of WhatsApp. Yeah, hey, that okay. one, hey, that one, hey, MJ. Mm. <laughs> you, can, you can post, you can send me a, a picture. Ne? Yeah. Or oh, I can, or oh, if I have, you can send me a picture and delete it. Ne? And without me seeing it, but when I open that WhatsApp, I'm gonna see that picture. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. I think uh, you can delete mm-hmm. anything, but still, the person you send to can see everything. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've I've heard of that WhatsApp. Yeah. Not only that, here's yeah, the other features of GB WhatsApp. Oh yeah. Is it? You can be online, but make sure that your your profile doesn't show that you're online. Oh. Right. Is it the one that even ticks? Yes. You can read someone's message but it won't say that would take yes <laughs> it'll have one tick you thinking this person's not on whatsapp <laughs> they're on whatsapp they're reading all your messages they can even see your statuses yeah. yeah even if you um on your statuses you you make sure that they are not seeing your statuses they can mm. see your statuses mm. wow. that's crazy mm. but anyway sure. <laughs> where do you get that <laughs> other developers made it you yeah. your devices at risk if you download it. Oh, okay. so don't get it yeah but yeah um this person was operating with gb whatsapp i should have known that was the first red flag yeah and yeah i mean this person's now running away from everything suddenly they were in a car accident um their brothers are telling us in the group that um they the uh, leg got run over by a car. They're in hospital. They're just covering bills. Every time I message this person, no, I just I needed to cover the bills for the hospital, but they were not in hospital. Mm. They were not in hospital. I thought I was the only one, right? Yeah. Um, until I sat down with one of my mentees, and she was like, "Oh no, I just saw this person." I'm like, what do you mean you just saw this? How do you know I know this person? Like, no, he was talking about you. 
uh, he mentioned that you keep uh, calling him about this uh, account management thing. I'm like, yes, where did you see him? Anyway, she just bumped into him and he left because he knew that I was sitting there. She's like, yeah, well, didn't you know he's like wanted and stuff by SAPS? And the FSCA uh, released a statement against him. I was like, what? Mm. How did I fall into something like that? So yeah, I went on to Google. I searched his name. No name dropping. It's up oh, to you. No, you can know. You can we are safe. What I know is that we are safe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we and you are safe. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can name. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, I don't know. If you come and ask me who's the person, I'll tell you. Okay, guys. Uh, rule number one, Google your friends. Google, <laughs> yeah. Google your friends. But Google some of them are not even appearing on Ish. Google. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah, some of them true. are not that big to appear on Google. Like sometimes people want to trade with brokers. They're trading with brokers that also don't appear on Google. You yeah. go do a Google search, there's nothing on the broker. Yeah, yeah sure. Always it's go a tricky to Google. One. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this person, I'm seeing mug shots on the internet of this person. Mm. Saps is looking for them. Mm. This person can never meet up with anyone. Like imagine being like that. Like imagine you can't go outside because you've scammed so, scammed so many people. Up until today, he's still doing account management. His prices are ridiculous. He's still selling robots he's still selling indicators he's still selling signals lifetime signals you know how those <laughs> ones work <laughs> still continuing with this and you wouldn't say because on his profile he's got like four or five cars mm. yeah posting on cars posting his holidays you'll think this is a businessman by the way he carries himself no you hmm. so yeah it was like very alarming yeah um I wish I could drop the name. I want people to stay away from this person. Mm, like that. But you guys can come and ask me. Oh, you heard. So okay, guys, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I, you, when you say you guys, you, you mean our viewers. Yeah, yeah. the audience. Or you're including us. <laughs> you, you guys, you can also come and ask me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I tell you things after this. Yeah, but yeah. me, I went on camera. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, guys. So, so you guys heard it. I know you guys are gonna be in the comments or just complaining like, ah, you guys are always talking. Hey, hey, hey. You guys need to drop names. Ah, this podcast is useless, guys. No, she's in. She's giving you guys an open door. Go ask her. Who ask me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. But they still gonna screenshot it, and you know they're gonna. Yeah. Put it yeah. Everywhere. yeah. Yeah. But I think on that note, man. Um, yeah. this this is not, you know a channel to expose yeah. people yeah. and yeah. all yeah. so don't be too hard on us i mean if you go to big channels SABC, you wouldn't force them to do this funny enough <laughs> exactly respect this business yeah, yeah respect this business we are not um, and the other thing is that we we are here to educate to inspire yeah right not to expose there are channels like that maybe go there mm -hmm. and they'll do the job for you yes we 100%. are not there for that unfortunately hundred yeah, percent but i think we deserve also the respect yeah, um, yeah. that comes with doing this job no, hundred yeah. percent. And on that note, thank you, Kara. Oh. We done. Yeah, we done for today. It's high. Five o'clock is just hit now. No way. <laughs> My nine to five. You know, it's time to hey, go. You see, when you're not used to nine to five, you wanna overweight now. <laughs> No, no, I, I don't want to finish everything today. Mm. Obviously, you know, our, our regular guest here, yeah. she's going to keep popping up every now and then. So I want to make sure we're a little bit next time. Eh? Hello. Deeper Hello. chats. Yeah, deeper chats. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good having you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we normally see you from a distance, but it was good seeing you in, in person. Thank you. Lovely meeting you. <laughs> yes, you know, people, a lot of people say lovely meeting you. And in their hearts, I hope they're like, hey, this guy. No. Yeah. Uh, you can trust that from her, oh, actually. Okay. I can no, trust I appreciate that from her. It. I watched your whole interview from start to finish. Wow, is it? Yes. Um, which interview? Um, Top Trader. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's oh, a, oh. But he said two, though. Yeah, he said two. I was on in, in, in the street chat. Oh, you mean Market Masters. Market Masters. Yeah. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was amazing. Is it? Everything you spoke about. Thank you so much. It's yeah. the work that comes with it. Research, guys. Yes. Uh, it's all about research. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm humbled yeah. to, to be having you here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you are one of the uh, female icons in, in this industry. And we're giving you flowers while you're still Thank alive. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, continue being humble. 
I think it's 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 what makes you who you are. Mm. The way you are humble, you are humble, and you you conduct yourself when you are around people. Also, yeah. Um, I also watched some. I, I think it's the one with Scooby it was interesting. Yeah. Then um, the mentor that you never had. had. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I watched it. it. It was it was nice. It was interesting. Thank you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll have you again. Yeah, hundred percent. See you yeah. guys next month. Next month, about oh, the next month, you guys heard it for yourselves. Yeah, first year. next month she's <laughs> coming back. Yeah. No, all right. No, thank you guys so much for watching. My, myself, Mbletsambane, MJ Gibbons, Kasi, and we're here with Kyra Peter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we are out. Oh.